Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to today's online class. Today, we shall continue with the second part of the topic, agricultural mechanization and engineering. One, two of two. The other time, we studied that of one of two. But today, we are going to have two of two. This is the concluding part of this topic. So the first thing we are going to do is types of farm machinery. Types of farm machinery. But first of all, what is the meaning of farm machinery? Let's go with definition of farm machinery. Definition of farm machinery. Farm machinery is the collection of various farm machines and farm implements that are used in farm operations. Now, farm machines, I've told you that they are farm machines and the farm uh, implements, all right? Now, examples of farm machines are tractor, the bulldozer, tree puller. We also have the sheller and some other ones. In farm implement, we have example as follows. We have the plow, the ridger, the planter, and the rest of them. But let us look at tractor. I will show you example of tractor. We are going to study the, the parts, the function, and the maintenance of tractor. But under the maintenance, we shall look at the daily maintenance and uh, the periodic uh, maintenance. But first of all, let us know the parts of a tractor. This is a, an example of a tractor. Look at it. Okay. So the tractor has the parts. The tractor has four wheel rubber tire. You can see it here. You see it? Four wheel rubber tire. The tractor also has internal combustion engine inside. Internal combustion engine. What is the function of this internal combustion engine? What it does is that it generates motive power. Motive, that is locomotion. When you see the tractor moving, it is the engine that is enabling it to move because it is generating motive power. It also has a governing, the tire that I talked about, the four-wheel tire rubber that I talked about, the function is that it is used for movements. It also has, has a governor system inside. The governor system, how it works is that it controls the speed of the engine. That is, it gives the engine running. Another part of the tractor is what we call, uh, look at this, we call it, let me write it on board, PTO, PTO, power takeoff shaft, power takeoff shaft. This power takeoff shaft is what the tractor uses to draw farm implements that are attached to it or mounted on it. It also has hydraulic system. The hydraulic system is the part of the tractor that leads, that the tractor uses to lift up farm implements. Okay, so let us look at the function of the tractor. The tractor is used to transport farm inputs from, from one place to another when a, a trailer is attached to the back. Another function of the tractor is that it is used to operate various farm implements when they are mounted on it at the back. So, if now let us look at the daily maintenance of tractor. But before we, we go to the daily maintenance of the tractor, let me tell you one other function of the tractor. The tractor is used to provide 
electrical power to other farm machines such as the, the sheller. Okay, now let us look at the maintenance of the tractor. It is divided into two. We have daily maintenance and uh, periodic uh, maintenance. Under the daily maintenance of the tractor, there are those things that your parents do to their car every day, daily. That is, the daily maintenance of the tractor are as follows. One, you check the engine oil and top it when necessary. Once you check it and you see that it is not enough, you had more. Another one is that by checking the water level of the, of the, in the carburetor, and you have to top it when it is uh, necessary. Another daily maintenance of the tractor is by checking the tire pressure and you inflate it when it is necessary. Okay, so you also have to tighten the bolts and nuts of the part of the tractor if they are loosened. One other point you have to do is that for the tractor, the electrolyte of the battery, check it if it has removed, then fix it back. Now, let's go with the periodic maintenance of the tractor. The periodic maintenance, they are done at interval, not every day. Okay, that's why we say it is periodic. One, what are those maintenance practices that we do in periodic maintenance is that one, you change the engine oil, okay? Another point is that you have to clear the air filter of the tractor. The air filter, air filter of the tractor, you have to clear it. And also change the, adjust, rather, adjust the fan belt of the tractor. Also, if there is any one out parts of the tractor, replace it. And again, service the tractor at intervals. Now, let us look at the bulldozer. The bulldozer. Let me show you the exam, the picture on the board. This is the bulldozer. This is the bulldozer. I hope it's clear. This is a bulldozer. The bulldozer has a metal blade at the front. Here is it. It has a steel blade at the front. Okay. And this steel blade is used for clearing farmlands. It's also used for lifting earth, that is, soil, from one place to another. It's also used for leveling farm roads. Okay for clearing trees, for felling trees, and for clearing bushes. That is what the metal blade is used for. Now, another part of the trap bulldozer is that it has track type metal chain. Track, track type metal, metal chain that is used for movement, okay? And one of the difference between the tractor and the bulldozer is that the tractor is having four wheel tire for movement, while the bulldozer is, is having metal track type metal chain for movement. And at the front of the bulldozer, there is a broad steel blade. Okay, those are the two major differences. Another the parts of another part of the bulldozer is that it's contains internal combustion engine, okay, that generates motive power, okay? Now, let us look at the function of the bulldozer. The function of the bulldozer is that, I've mentioned it already, it has disadvantages. The disadvantages of bulldozer, for land clearing, okay, is that it make the soil to be compacted, okay, to be compacted, okay. Now, one other thing it does that 
the bulldozer, there's a, the disadvantages of using the bulldozer for land clearing is that it destroys the soil structure. Why? Because of the weights. For the soil compaction that I said, it's also because of the weights. One other thing it does is that, one other disadvantage is that it reduces the soil nutrients because the metal blade, while carrying away uh, uh, wood logs, okay, three logs from the, from the farmland, it carries away the topsoil. And you know the topsoil contains organic matter that enhances the soil nutrients, okay? So it also leads to soil erosion and the water logging. Soil erosion and water logging. Because once the soil structure has been destroyed, it will lead to soil erosion and water logging. Now, let us look at the, the advantage, the tripular. What is a tripular? A tripular is, this is the example. It's also like a tractor, but not, it is not named tractor. This is a, look at it. This is a tripular. The tripular is having at the front here a puller system that it uses to, to grab to, to grab the tree and pull it away. Okay. It also have track. It also has what we call track track type metal chain that it uses for movements. It as well as internal combustion engine engine that it uses to generate motive power. All right. Now let us look at the the function. The function is just to remove or to fell the trees on the farm. The tree puller has some advantages over bulldozer. Advantages of using tree puller over bulldozer are as for land clearing are as follows. The tree puller does not lead to soil nutrients reduction. It does not reduce the soil nutrients. Okay? Two is that it does not cause soil uh, compaction. Okay? Now, again, all those disadvantages that we encounter in the use of bulldozer is what the triple R is taking care of. Now, the next machine that the next farm machine that we are going to treat is Shella Shella Shella. Okay, Shella Shella is a farm machine. Is a that is used to separate grains of crops from the husk or from the chaff. Okay. Now, how does that happen? The sheller has different parts. The sheller has different parts. One is that it has the upper. The upper is the part that receives the unshelled grains. Okay? The shell that have not been, the grains that have not been shelled, you pour it into the sheller through the hopper. The now, another part of the sheller is the buckets. The bucket collects the shelled grains after shelling. It also has a winder. It also has a winder. The winder is the part of the sheller that provides wind that blows away the chaff or the husk of the shelled grains. 
Another part that it has is the spike, spikes. It has spikes that it uses to price out the grains. Other part of the sheller is the drum, D R U M, the drum. The drum is a cylindrical and enclosed metal, okay, that houses or the spikes are attached to. The drum rotates while this, the spike price out the grains. So, and the major function of the sheller machine is to shell the grains of cereal crops from their stem and their husk. Okay, so we have come to the end of this topic. And when you check your portal, assignments is there for you. Make sure that you do the assignment and submit in time. Thank you for listening. We shall meet again.